In this video, I'm going to go over the 10 best dental schools in the US based on official rankings. And if you're looking to apply to some of these top ranking dental schools, you're going to need more than just a high GPA, a high DAT, and some shadowing. You're gonna need an application that stands out from the crowd because there are literally thousands upon thousands of applicants who apply to these schools, but these schools typically only have around 100 seats, plus or minus about 20, so they're extremely competitive. I made a free personal statement guide that can help you as part of that process to make your application stand out, which you can download for absolutely free at predenting.com forward slash personal statement guide. That being said, let's dive into these rankings. At number 10, we have Columbia University's College of Dental Medicine. Aside from ranking as number 10 in the US, Columbia also ranks as number 17 in the entire world. Something that's interesting about Columbia's dental school is that some of your didactic lecture courses are actually combined with the lectures with medical students and the curriculum is also on a pass-fail basis. Having personally graduated from a dental school that was also on a pass-fail curriculum, I can tell you that the pass-fail curriculum makes dental school a lot less stressful even though the difficulty of passing each course is definitely a lot harder than just passing a course in undergrad. The Barn Dental School is essentially just set a lot higher. And in terms of academics, the average admitted applicant to Columbia had a 24 academic average and a 24 to total science score, which is around the 97th percentile. And admitted applicants had around a 3.7 GPA on average. At number nine, we have NYU's College of Dentistry. NYU's Dental School ranks as number nine in the US and number 15 in the world. And a little fun fact about NYU is that they are the third oldest dental school in the entire US. They're also unique because they have programs where you can get another graduate degree, like a master's in public health or an MBA while also getting your dental degree. I'd really say that if you're someone who loves big cities and wants to be at a large university with a ton of resources, NYU is the school for you. The average DAT score of admitted applicants to NYU was a 21 academic average and a total science score of 21 as well with about a 3.5 GPA. At number eight, we have University of Buffalo's School of Dental Medicine in New York. They rank as number eight in the US and number nine in the world. Considering this is one of the two public in-state dental schools in the state of New York, if you're looking for value out of your dental education and you're a resident of New York, this is a great school for you. And that's because the difference between going to Buffalo versus another New York school like NYU is going to be around 200 to $250,000 of a difference in the cost of attending. Regardless, the average JT score for accepted students to Buffalo was a 21 academic average and a 21 total science score with an average accepted GPA at a 3.71. At number seven, we have University of Pennsylvania School of Dental Medicine. UPenn's Dental School ranks at number seven in the US and number eight in the world. Something that's really interesting about Penn is that they actually allow students to also get graduate degrees, much like NYU does, while going through the dental program. And they'll let dental students get an MBA from their prestigious business school, a master's in public health, master's in bioengineering, or even a law degree. UPenn usually gets about 2,200 applications each year for just 136 seats, and their average GAT score for accepted students was a 21 academic average and 21 total science score with an average accepted GPA of 3.75. At number six, we have University of Washington's School of Dentistry. Washington's Dental School ranks at six in the US and number seven in the entire world. University of Washington is especially attractive if you're a pre dental student from Washington, Alaska, Arizona, Hawaii, Montana, New Mexico, North Dakota, or Wyoming because the dental school has a program where they prioritize students from those specific states. University of Washington's average GAT score for accepted students was a 21 academic average and 21 total science score, while students' GPAs were at 3.61 on average. Before we go into the top five dental schools, if you're finding this video helpful, like it and subscribe for more videos on the dental school admissions and application process. So the fifth best dental school in the US is UCLA School of Dentistry, which is where I went to dental school. Aside from ranking as number five in the US, they rank as number six in the world. As someone that was born and raised in Los Angeles, I loved being close to family and friends while going through dental school and found the faculty to be 
really supportive and overall I had a great experience at UCLA. Something kind of unique about UCLA and some of the other top five dental schools is that the curriculum at UCLA was on an honors pass fail system, which made the class a lot more collaborative and supportive and the board pass rates and specialty match rates were insanely high during all my years at the school. Their average DAT score for accepted students was super high at a 23 academic average and a total science score of 23, while the average GPA was at 3.83. And if you're a pre-dental who's interested in UCLA School of Dentistry, I recommend scheduling a time to speak with me with the link in the description below, and we can talk about how to maximize your candidacy to get accepted into UCLA. At number four, we have UCSF's School of Dentistry in San Francisco, which is also a school I was accepted to, even though I ultimately chose UCLA. UCSF's dental school ranks at four in the US and number five in the world. Just like UCLA, the curriculum is on a pass-fail system. The board's pass rates and specialty match rates are insanely high, and this is the only other in-state public dental school in California. So if you're a California resident, the tuition to go to UCLA or UCSF is insanely lower and different than going out of state or to a private dental school, which makes these schools super valuable and also extremely competitive. UCSF's average DAT score for accepted students was a 23 academic average and a 23 total science score with an average accepted GPA of a 3.7. At number three, we have Harvard School of Dental Medicine. Harvard's Dental School ranks at number three in the US and four in the world. Just like UCLA and UCSF, the curriculum is on a pass-fail system. The board's pass rates and specialty match rates are very high and it's got one of the most prestigious university names behind it. One of the unique things about Harvard that makes it even more competitive to get accepted is that they have the smallest class size of any dental school in the US at just 36 students per class. Their average DAT for accepted students was just about the same as Columbia's with a 24 academic average and 24 total science score and an accepted GPA at 3.94. At number two, we have University of North Carolina, Chapel Hills, Adams School of Dentistry. UNC's dental school ranks at not only number two in the US, but also number two in the entire world. Just like UCLA, UCSF, and Harvard, the curriculum is on a pass-fail system. The board's pass rates are super high. Specialty match rates are high. And UNC is also known to have a really great clinical program. There's 84 seats in their class and their average GAT score for accepted students was a 22 academic average and 22 total science score with an average accepted GPA of 3.65. And while I wish the number one spot could go to UCLA School of Dentistry, it does not. It goes to Michigan School of Dentistry. Michigan's dental school ranks at number one in the US and number one in the world. And unlike a lot of the other top ranking and ultra competitive dental schools in the US on this list, Michigan is actually not on a pass fail grading system. This can definitely make the class structure a bit more competitive since the class is essentially composed of extremely competitive pre-dentals and combining all those really competitive pre-dentals into one class and then having them compete amongst one another to rank in their school. This is also the only in-state dental school in Michigan, which makes it the best dental school when speaking about the cost of attendance for Michigan residents because the cost of going to an in-state versus out-of-state school or private school is so vastly different. It's oftentimes at least $100,000 and sometimes up to $250,000 depending on the specific schools that you're comparing. But speaking about admission statistics, Michigan has an incoming class of just under 110 students and students who were accepted had a DAT score of a 23 academic average and a 22 total science score with an average GPA of 3.8. And to be clear, it's possible to get accepted into these schools with below average stats or even below their stats. And there's also a ton of applicants on the other side of the coin who have way better stats than the average accepted students to these schools who get rejected. And I've even had a pre-dental who reached out to me from the number one public undergrad university and who had a GPA very similar to these with a DAT score at a 26, which correlates to a 99.7th percentile who applied to dental school and didn't receive a single interview or a single acceptance. At the same time, I advised a lot of students with much lower GPAs and DAT scores who were accepted to these schools. And that's because you have to remember, it's really important that your application materials, like your personal statement, 
secondary essays, and everything else you write in your application shines and aligns with what admissions committees are looking for. And that's what my team and I are here to help you with and why I created Predenting, to help you get accepted into these competitive schools or just into your dream schools or the public schools that can save you $150,000 or more on your dental education.